ever wondered why toilet paper doesn't come with instructions? Because it's not rocket science, right? Or is it? It's time for a journey, a trip down memory lane to a world where the toilet paper roll was a mere twinkling in humanity's eye. To a time when a trip to the loo was less about comfort and more about, well, let's just say it was a different experience altogether. Our story begins in the 6th century, in the far-off land of China. Now, while the rest of the world was still grappling with the concept of sanitation, the Chinese were already on a roll, quite literally. They had discovered the convenience of toilet paper, and it was already a part of their daily routine. But this wasn't your run-of-the-mill or should we say roll-of-the-mill toilet paper. Oh no, this was a luxury item, reserved for those at the very top of the social ladder. The emperors of China, in their wisdom, had decreed that nothing less than a soft, perfumed piece of paper would come in contact with their royal behinds. This early toilet paper was made from rice straw, which was boiled and pounded to create a pulp. This pulp was then spread out and left to dry, resulting in a paper-like material. It was quite different from the soft quilted rolls we're used to today. It was rough, coarse, and a far cry from the multiply luxury we're used to. The texture? Well, think of it more like a cross between parchment and sandpaper. Not exactly the most comfortable material, but in the 6th century it was revolutionary. So, there you have it, the humble beginnings of the toilet paper roll, from a luxury item for emperors to a household essential worldwide. It's a story of innovation, of human ingenuity, and of our constant quest for comfort and convenience. So, next time you're in the loo, remember, you're using a product fit for an emperor. Now you'd think that once people got a taste of the good stuff, they'd never go back, right? Well, not quite. The journey to the cushy quilted paper we now take for granted was, to put it mildly, a bit of a bumpy road. Or should we say, a rough roll. You see, the adoption of toilet paper wasn't as smooth as the product itself. For a start, the concept of cleanliness varied wildly across different cultures, as did the methods to achieve it. In some parts of the world, leaves, grass, and even corn cobs were the go-to items. Can you imagine the surprise on a corn cob's face if it had one, when it found out its ultimate destiny? And if you think that's a bit rough, in other places, people use stones or shells. Yes, you heard that right, stones. That's certainly one way to leave no stone unturned, wouldn't you say? But it wasn't just about what was available, it was also about what was culturally accepted. In many societies, the left hand was designated as the, let's call it, cleanup crew. This was a practice that remained prevalent even after the introduction of toilet paper, simply because it was deeply ingrained in the culture. And then there was the issue of cost. When toilet paper first made its appearance, it was considered a luxury item, something only the wealthy could afford. For the common man, it was back to the leaves, corn cobs, or, heaven forbid, the stones. However, as we know, necessity is the mother of invention. Over time, as the demand for a more sanitary solution grew, so did the production of toilet paper, making it more affordable and widely available. Ever use sandpaper? Now imagine that for toilet paper. Yikes! Let's journey back in time, to when the concept of toilet paper was as foreign as a smartphone in the Stone Age. The earliest known use of toilet paper, as we now know, dates back to the 6th century in China. Now this wasn't the plush, quilted, three-ply luxury we're accustomed to today. No, it was more akin to, well, a rough piece of cloth. As we move forward through the annals of history, we find ourselves in the 14th century. Here, the Chinese had started mass-producing toilet paper. But let's just say that the emphasis was more on quantity than quality. The texture? Imagine the coarsest, most uncompromising paper you've ever felt. We're talking sandpaper levels of comfort here, folks. Now let's hop across the ocean to the wild west of the United States in the late 19th century. The advent of the Industrial Revolution brought about many innovations, one of them being commercially available toilet paper. However, the texture was still a far cry from what we'd consider acceptable today. It was single-ply, thin, and quite rough. Not exactly a treat for your derriere. As we continue our journey into the 20th century, things start to look up. The advent of new manufacturing techniques and materials saw an improvement in the texture of toilet paper. It became softer, thicker, and more absorbent. The introduction of multiply toilet paper was a game changer, adding that much needed layer of comfort. Fast forward to today, and we're living in a golden age of toilet paper. With options ranging from two ply to ultra plush six ply, there's something to suit every preference and budget. And let's not forget the addition of soothing aloe and calming chamomile for those who like a touch of luxury in their loo roll. 
So thank your lucky stars and your sensitive skin that we've come a long way from the sandpaper era. Two-ply, three-ply, quilted or perfumed, the choice can be overwhelming. Now, let's dive into the melange of modern toilet paper varieties, each with its unique features, and try to unravel the reason behind such diversity in a seemingly simple product. Toilet paper, once a humble necessity, has evolved into a luxury item, with brands vying to offer the softest, most durable, and even the most fragrant option. The ply, a term that refers to the number of layers in a sheet of toilet paper, has become a key consideration. Two-ply toilet paper, for instance, is the standard in many households, offering a balance of comfort, durability, and cost-effectiveness. Then we have the three-ply, which is like the two-ply's more sophisticated cousin. It's thicker, softer, and more absorbent, making for a more luxurious bathroom experience. But the extravagance doesn't stop there. Some brands have pushed the envelope further, offering four-ply toilet paper for those who really want to pamper themselves. Quilted toilet paper is another innovation that's gained popularity. It features a pattern of tiny pillows, adding an extra layer of softness and absorbency. And if you're someone who appreciates a touch of scent, perfume toilet paper might be right up your alley. It's infused with a light fragrance to keep your bathroom smelling fresh. The diversity in toilet paper is a testament to human ingenuity and our never-ending quest for comfort, even in the most mundane aspects of life. So, what's next? Toilet paper that plays your favorite tunes while you use it? Well, we are living in a rapidly advancing world, and the humble toilet paper roll is not immune to innovation. As we look ahead, there are several intriguing possibilities that could revolutionize the way we approach this most private of tasks. First, let's consider the eco-friendly angle. We're becoming increasingly aware of the need to protect our planet, and this consciousness is likely to trickle down to our bathroom habits. We could see a rise in reusable, washable cloths made from sustainable materials. Imagine wiping with a bamboo cloth that's as soft as a cloud, and then tossing it in a sanitary bin for cleaning and reusing. Next, let's talk about customization. We're in an age where we can personalize just about anything, so why not toilet paper? Picture this, rolls with custom prints, perhaps your favorite quotes or jokes to bring a little levity to your day, or maybe you'd prefer a calming design, like a serene forest or a tranquil ocean scene. But the most revolutionary idea yet might be the smart toilet. Imagine a toilet that cleans and dries you at the touch of a button, rendering traditional toilet paper obsolete. Smart toilets could even have health monitoring features, analyzing waste for signs of illness. It's a bit sci-fi, but with the pace of technological advancement, we might not be too far off from this reality. Of course, these are all speculations, and the future could hold something entirely different. But one thing's for sure, as we advance and innovate, even the most mundane aspects of our lives are subject to change. The days of the simple role might be numbered, but whatever comes next promises to be interesting, to say the least. So, whether it's a smart toilet or a smartly designed role, the future of wiping is anything but boring.